Hi everyone, it's February 24, 2018. I posted this video January, the last week of January, a disturbing video of homelessness in Anaheim, California. This video where a biker was driving along the Santa, or riding along the Santa Ana River, exposing how many people had tents, this homeless encampment, in one of the richest counties in America. I sure wish that Every American would just shatter all of their delusions that they live, that they they think that they have about how wonderful and exceptional and caring and compassionate we are as Americans, because it is absolutely a delusion. When we have th these uh, statistics on homelessness rising and rising and rising, and when we have cities and counties and towns making it a criminal offense to be homeless. This is the caring, compassionate society. And I know, oh, it upsets so many to hear the truth about who we are, collectively speaking. So the judge approves a shutdown of that encampment along the Santa Ana, Ana River. And what they are doing, they are going to be giving these people a voucher, a motel voucher for 30 days. This is certainly not going to address the problem. And you know what? You know, it's going to sound great to those who just don't want to deal with the problem. And it's going to sound, oh, we're giving you 30 days in a motel. Aren't we caring and compassionate? No, you just want to get rid of them, and I guarantee you, a lot of these people are not going to get vouchers. So here they are, lined up, while the police are clearing their trash, because everything is trash, when you're homeless. That is how Americans look at the homeless, as trash. Not worth anything. The challenge, the challenge is how do they figure out who was living in the encampment as opposed to those who just showed up wanting a voucher. So they're going to try to help everybody, but they're not going to be helping those who are also in need but they won't be helping them who just showed up maybe to get the voucher. We know what the problems are here. Extremely high rents, low wages. The economy is not what mainstream media reports it is. So these statistics only, they get worse and worse. So they're lined up, suitcases, whatever belongings they could manage to keep. But L.A. goes one step further. And this Santa Ana River encampment is in Southern California, but L.A. has criminalized poverty. We've seen this. It happens more and more. L.A. has made it illegal to sleep in cars and RVs. And one group calculated that at least 7,000 people are living in their cars in Los Angeles alone. Many of these people still maintain jobs. They try to live the most fulfilled lives they can, but they face the problems from the authorities. Many churches, I don't know if many is the accurate um, term to use here, but Churches have. I've read articles years ago about how some churches in L.A. and Santa Monica were opening up their parking lots and they had created this safe parking program where they did not require any money for parking in their churches, but there were some rules. They had to be in their cars by like 9 o'clock or something and no loud noise and everything like that. But now those churches, it will be a criminal offense.
to continue these programs. Um, new legislation, <coughs> excuse me, passed in LA will make it illegal to have safe parking programs under the new laws. It will be illegal to sleep in a car or an RV that is parked in a re residentially zoned area from 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. If you're one block from a park, daycare, or school, that is entirely off limits, and fines will range between $25 and $75 a day. And that's, you're going to hit a homeless person with these fines. And I've posted videos on, several videos on all of the methods that towns and cities and counties across the country are using, not to help the homeless, but to get rid of them, to get rid of them. If anybody thinks a 30-day voucher at a motel is going to help those who are living in that encampment along the Santa Ana River, then, then you are really, uh, I just don't know what to say. But government creates these problems. It's government. The government policies have created these problems along with our fabulous private fellow citizens who are just so greedy and so immoral and don't care about anything but, <gasps> oh, I can make more money. I can make more money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know it's true. We have an awful lot of people like that. So, landlords, jack up the rent, jack up the rent, jack up the rent. And what happens? You have more and more people who are homeless. And frankly, for cities like L.A., San Francisco, Seattle, um, and virtually every city in this country, it would be relatively easy and less costly for them to take over just a, 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 a field or um, some land to get you know, tiny houses in there or um, cargo, you know, how, you, how they make these uh, homes out of cargo containers. You know what I'm talking about. They're, they're, look, we just want to get rid of them. We don't really want to help them. And that's the point. Criminalizing homelessness. Means that you really do just want to get rid of them and not help them. San Francisco spent 8,700 installing large boulders under overpasses to prevent homeless people from setting up camps. Seattle planning to set up razor wire fencing to keep homeless populations from camping. San Francisco also using robots to scare homeless people away from their encampments and report them to the police. God, this is the country that we live in. This is the country that we live in. It's, so, it's just incredibly sad to me.